let's now unpin what we discussed earlier on. You talked about expanded playoffs, still a possibility. Uh, is the is the universal DH in this mix? For this year, the universal DH is already agreed to, and that's because of health. That's for the feeling that you're going to keep pitchers in better shape. and You just don't want a guy going down – because he, he left second base awkwardly. You're going to have limited rosters. You're not going to have, in all likelihood, you're not going to have a full minor league schedule going on in the background. So just for health reasons, this year, you're going to have the DH in both leagues. If they had had an agreement on a new deal, that would have brought the DH for next year as well. But you do still have the DH inside of this year. Well, and, and in terms of that, too, Evan, with the expanded playoffs, you saw what Trevor Bauer had to say, essentially doing a little bit of a heel turn um, uh, on on his union, um, and it kind of makes sense is the fact that okay, you, you you wanted to keep the ability to file a grievance in your back pocket. That is what definitely keeps the ownership and management on their heels. Um, but when management had put on the table so many different um, pieces of candy, I guess, that would have actually led to more money being in the pocket of the players right now. Um, don't you think that th- that would actually benefit? So is that why we're hearing that, or you've mentioned that the uh, expanded playoffs could be still on the table for this year? So you're right that the league did dangle extra candy for the players. And the calculation most of the players made here is that, yes, there was a little bit more candy that we could have had, but in, in exchange for that, we would have had to give the league back so much more candy that it wasn't a fair deal. It doesn't mean that we as players would not have been in a slightly better position for 2020 had we taken that deal. Objectively, they would have been. There was a little bit more money available to them inside this year. It's that in return for that, they would have had to give back things that they simply valued to be a lot higher. And look, in a way, you can say the gamble worked because they're getting a 60-game season, which is exactly the number that the league had made in its last offer. You know, It's not like they're getting fewer games here. And as it goes to the expanded postseason, that's what the league wanted. There's more money attached to it for the league if they can have the expanded postseason. If the league now turns around and says, hey, we will give you – Uh, let's say instead of the $25 million that was discussed in the last offer, we'll give you, I don't know, 50 or or some number that makes the players go, okay, that's enough. Then yeah, we could still have the expanded postseason in 2020. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 